Hello, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome to the ASM 3D C560 XL cold and dark setup tutorial. Um, just to be clear, we're not going to be uh, doing the cold and dark procedure itself, the startup procedure itself, because that's in another uh, tutorial later on. We're trying to keep these nice and short um, so that it's easier to um, use. And one of the true tests to see whether the aircraft is cold and dark is to notice and look around and make sure that there are no pilots in the aircraft. Um, the cones, the, the engine covers will be on, the chucks and cones will be there, the flags will be on, and inside the cockpit everything will be absolutely non-functional. Even if you try to turn the battery switch on right now, it's not going to work. Nothing's going to work. So this is the state you want to be in before you apply the cold and dark startup procedure, which is the next tutorial. But how do you get to this point? That is the purpose of this tutorial itself. Now there are three ways to get to this panel layout. And it's important to keep in mind what state the simulator is in to be able to get to this point. So what do I mean by that? So the first scenario is let's assume that you are starting the simulator. Um, this is a new session for you altogether. So nothing has been preloaded. This is the first time you're starting up or this is a new session for the simulator. What you would normally do is you go to new flight. You could choose our aircraft and turn this off. Start without engines running. Now, if you do that, what will happen and we'll give it a second for it to load over here. And so now, as you can see, the cockpit is completely dark, cold, nothing's working. There is, you know, the batteries are disconnected. The avionics won't work, nothing, nothing functions. And this is good. This is exactly the state you want to be in. And if you look outside, there will be no pilots in the cockpit. This is exactly the state that you want to be in. Okay. So that's the first scenario. If you're loading the aircraft up as in, in a new session, choose the, choose our aircraft, start without engines running and you will get a cold and dark cockpit. So that's the first scenario. Now the second scenario is where you are going to the C560 XL but you're coming to it not from a new sim session but you're coming in it from another aircraft. You have been flying something else and decide to go to the 560 and say okay let me go over there and I want to start cold and dark. Now whether this is running or whether it's not is immaterial, but what you want to do in that case is that you go to the flight menu, uh, go to customize, turn our aircraft engines off, start without engines running, and if you start that, and once you've loaded what will happen is the aircraft will be truly cold and dark. Okay, so remember what is our asset test if we go outside there are no pilots to be viewed. That's correct. They're not in the aircraft. Everything's buttoned up. Everything's good. And the third scenario is when you have the aircraft running. So we have the C-560 pilots inside, engines are running, everything is like that. And you decide, hey, I want to try a cold and dark start over here. So what you do is, what you think you, sh you can do is you can go out to the menu, start without engines running, and you'll get a cold and dark cockpit. That will not happen and let, let me demonstrate that for you right now. So we go up here, go to the flight config men, change, turn the engines off and you expect the aircraft to be cold and dark, but it's not. Now what the sim has done is basically loaded the aircraft exactly the way you wanted it, which is the engines are not running. So if you look outside, we've got pilots in there, but the engines are not running. That's the only thing that is not happening over here. So that's kind of, hmm, is that a bug? No, not necessarily. The simulator has done what you asked it to do. Now in this situation where you have the aircraft already loaded and you want to set it up to be cold and dark, there's an extra step that you have to do. So the way to do that is you go up and load some default aircraft but without the engines running. And when you do that, the default aircraft will load but without with everything off. Good. This is the place we want to do in. Now what happens is we are going to go to the flight config menu again and this time do the same thing and keep this off. 
Now the reason for doing this step is to force the simulator to completely load the aircraft from the beginning, not only to turn the engines off, to stop them from running, which is the last step that we did. So in this state, what we're doing now is if we do this, then once the aircraft loads, the aircraft will be in a completely cold and dark state. Because now what we did was we forced the sim to completely reload the whole aircraft and not only reload it with just engines not running. So you have to be kind of careful in that last scenario where you have the aircraft already loaded and running and then you want to start cold and dark, you have to force the sim to reload the whole aircraft and not just reload it without engines running. So just be careful about that. So those are the three scenarios right now. And in the next tutorial, what we'll do is we'll actually apply the cold and dark start process to be able to get the aircraft from this state to a completely working and functional state. So I hope to see you then. Good day.